in our newsroom tonight, Jared. Brandon, these are new photos of 70 year old Mary Simmons and 72 year old Brian Thomas just into us. We, of course, waited for police to notify their relatives before releasing their names to the public tonight. Police say DNA and ballistics connect Dwight Jones to their murders, along with the murders of four others. 56 year old Dwight Jones was tracked down to this extended stay hotel in Scottsdale around five o'clock this morning when he started shooting. The SWAT team set up on the room. They were able to enter with, using robot and other, other tactics and determine that the suspect had, had killed himself with an apparent uh, gunshot wounded. Police believe renowned psychiatrist Dr. Stephen Pitts was Jones' first victim on Thursday. On Friday, two paralegals turned up dead, Valeria Sharp and Laura Anderson. The next morning, police found hypnotherapist and life coach Marshall Levine murdered near his office. Police believe Jones is connected to all four murders. Each victim had a connection to his 2009 divorce and custody battle. Here's open letter to my son. Jones posted disturbing audio messages on YouTube, which have all now been removed. In one of them, he accused his ex-wife's attorney of spreading lies. Her attorney told her to plant those tapes do all the devious she did. Today is not a success story, but it is a story that has closure. Jones seemed to be targeting people working in offices involved in his divorce nine years ago, though that link has not yet been established for the couple in Fountain Hills. For investigators, the most important tip came from the suspect's ex-wife. She and her current husband linked Jones to the first two murders, and Heather, they called police over the weekend. Back to